review of Make a 10 by PHET uh, Simulations out of the University of Colorado. I'm just going to click on there and it opens up. We'll start here at Explore. You can see it's almost a tutorial. 10 equals 10. Um, it does have this interesting thing where you can decompose the numbers by ones depending on the place value. So if I place a 10 up here, I can take it apart or rebuild a 10 and I can put the two 10s together or decompose them. Uh, hundreds. I really like this sort of shadowed overlay where you can see the hundred underneath and the ten so you get that sense of place value. Uh, of course you can hide the total if you want to um, but it's all very playful and simple. Um, fairly easy to use. Students might get a little frustrated with this the difference between moving a digit around versus composing or decomposing. It does use the uh, omnidirectional arrow for when you want to grab it um, and the hand for if you want to um, decompose it. So there's that. Um, if we go down here to adding, uh, you can put in your own numbers here to add up and then you can practice counting on, combining to make a 10. It's, it's pretty cool. It won't let you combine just like that to get the answer. It kind of bounces it off, but you can decompose to count up, create a 10. Then you have your answer, so that's pretty cool. And then there's a game mode. In game mode, you've got various uh, things you can try here. Here's basic edition. And I like this because it sets it up for students to just explore. Okay, so there's the nine, and there's the four. And it's also set up like an equation. How do I want to do this? Okay, maybe I'll move one of there. Oh, that didn't get me any closer. Um, let me decompose that. Okay, let's see if I can make a 10. There's my 10. Now I've got my 13 and you heard the sound. So I've got it right and I can move on to the next problem. So that's pretty cool. Again, very simple, easy to manipulate, um, uh, and accessible. Try one of these other ones, the finger ones. I'm focusing on more of the primary uh, addition pieces. And you can see there you go. So with uh, un sums of 10 and under, this is really nice too because it kind of tells you the standard you're working on right off the bat. Another one. This one we gotta build our 10. Sometimes there's that happening, so you got to watch out for a couple little things. Sometimes it covers it up. But again, I really like how it reinforces the equation uh, setup. So, um, you've got your, it's covering standards. It's pretty easy to use. It's definitely age appropriate. And uh, it's got a, a lot of flexibility. So, pretty cool. Um, game, uh, I don't know if I'd call this a simulation so much as a game.